Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper, and guys, welcome to another edition of Battle Box Review. Now, this is Mission 9 we're going to go over. Now, before I get into the box for this month, three things are on my mind. Number one, that box is heavy as ever, so there's got to be some great gear in there. Number two is if you're not a subscriber to Battle Box, you definitely want to be before next month. Because for next month, coming up, they're giving a motoped survival bike away to somebody that's a subscriber. Now, you can't wait until later and join up. You need to do it this month because the current subscribers, they're going to pick somebody out of the pot and they're going to get a survival bike. The thing is epic. You can check it out at BattleBox.com. On top of that, for my subscribers on the channel, they've hooked us up. If you're not a subscriber yet, they're going to give you 10% off your first box for subscribing. So that's going to save you some cash flow right there. So with that said, let's tear in this box and take a look at it now. All right, guys, here we go. We're about to open Mission 9. I'm about to rock out. The tape has been cut and the lid is going up. All right, so this mission is stock up. Welcome to Mission 9. We are very excited about the mission, this mission, as it really encompasses the principles of what our subscription is about. Survival food is at the very top of the list of things needed for true survival. And with this kit, we hope to introduce you to some new gear for you to carry with you on your next expedition or to purchase more of for a stockpile of your own. There you go, and it goes on into uh, explaining about... Um, all the items and things that comes with it. You can, read, you can pause right there and read the rest of the card up for this month if you want. So to begin with, um, we're going to go down the list here. Pause right there for a second and you can get a complete glimpse of this card. I'm going to go over it, but I'm just going to start doing that for you guys so that you can get a complete read on each month. All right, so I guess the best thing to do, it looks like it's filled to the brim. I cannot overly state putting this in a container and keeping it with you. It is a great fire starter. Kids love that at Scouts. All right, so the first item on the list in this box dump is Mountain House Biscuits and Gravy. All right, so here is freeze-dried biscuits and gravy. Now, Mountain House makes a lot, uh, a lot of these different kits. Um, they're actually available... One of the best places I've found that you can pick these up at is Bass Pro. I got a huge selection of them uh, in the camping area. These things, you take them on the go. I mean, there's no mess. I mean, literally, you add water, and these suckers are ready to go in just a short amount of time. Um, look, I'm not a cook, okay? I'm just going to be straight up with you, and even I can accomplish this. So it's, it's, it's fail-safe for those people that you absolutely positively cannot cook nothing. Um, you're good to go. Now, anyway, that right there, that item is a $5.99 value. Um, actually, I think these go for as high as like 6 or $7, um, even at the you know box stores and things like that. So that's right on key uh, with the pricing. Um, next up, we've got Backpackers Pantry Chicken with Gravy, Dressing, and Potatoes Flip. That may be getting eaten before it goes out onto the into the backpack. Um, I love me some chicken. Now that right there says makes two 12 ounce servings. So the good thing about this is you know you can always share a meal uh, with other people. So I mean it, it's not like it's just a one off. Um, you know the only thing I'll say straight up about the meals is you know guys even MREs you got to be careful about that. I mean it's full of sodium. All right. So anyway, um, this right here. It's pretty much the same principle as the way Mountain House works. Um, you know, you just open this up, uh, add the water to it and everything. You're ready to rock out. Um, another thing up here, too, is is the date stamp on it. And these things can last quite a considerable amount of time, too. So just something to keep in mind right there. Awesome. And uh, if you've never tried one of those, i got to be straight with it. Look, if you're going to use these top meals... Um, the best way to break into using these is take these out on a backpacking trip, like say you're scouting or say you're hunting or anything. Um, just take an opportunity at an event like that and take these with you and try it. I'm going to tell you, a lot of people put back food storage and then they go to eat it later down the road because the snow comes in the winter or something. They're like, oh man, this tastes terrible. 
Um, you know, I've done that with MREs, and I've always had no issue eating MREs, but, you know, it's a good to get broke into these things because, you know, it, it's better to try it now than dislike it later. Just saying. All right, next is Emergency Pantry Handbook. All right. Let's see. There's some items around here. Here we go. This is by... Kate Rowinski, um, the Emergency Pantry Handbook, How to Prepare Your Family for Just About Everything. <laughs> that looks like my basement uh, with my memo's cannon. Anybody seen episode on Doomsday Preppers knows that my memo was heavy canner. Uh, and I'm glad to see my wife starting to do it too. See, it's got storage techniques, personalizing your food plan, stockpiling, shelf life, rotating. You do have to rotate your stuff, guys. It don't last forever. Pickling, canning, sprouting, and drying, making delicious dinners. Let's take a look, see here what all we've got. Cooking off the grid. Uh, of course, I would turn to that page. Oh, yeah, got all sorts of recipes. Looks like a really good book. This is something my wife can definitely appreciate right there. And that book, that's, that's $14.95. And if you want to look up the ISBN number, I imagine that'll be right online with that price. There you go. Now we've got New Millennium Cherry Energy Bar. That's a dollar and thirty. I imagine that's it right there. Now this is something I have not um, really put to use out there in the woods or um, backpacking or anything like that. Um, but right there it's got bunch of calories and thankfully low in sodium and it's actually natural flavored let's see what the sodium content is that's what i always like dude one percent that's insane okay and that's 400 calories so that definitely gets you through a pinch right there that's epic that's not a bad price either i mean you know i've, I've found that battle box prices they list are about right on key um and if that's the case man uh, i'm pretty sure be prepared.com uh, a couple places like that, I've seen these, and it's probably something good to put in the bag for sure at that point with no sodium issue. All right, next is best value. Oh, yeah, that's for sure on, on the cost. If you paid for a basic box, this next item I'm about to go over was worth the whole 25 bucks. period, is my Patriot Supply Survival Seed Vault. Dude, I, I've seen this stuff. Uh, it, I've traveled the country, prep fairs and things like that. This is something everybody should put up. Um, if you haven't been to my Patriot Supply, you, you need to. I'll put the link in the video description below. Um, but right there it is on the, their website on there too. It's grown in the U.S. But guys, this this is what I always kick on the channel. You know it because I'm a farmer and I go over it all the time. 100% heirloom, non-GMO, non-hybrid. I'm sure they're open pollinated too. But anyway, um, tons and tons of seeds right there. There's a seed count. And right there, you got everything from watermelon, broccoli. Let me see what else we got on here. Oh, red beets. There we go. Um, yeah, that's some hardy stuff right there. And, and that's, dude, that's so worth 25 bucks in itself right there. I mean, that's that's awesome that BattleBox put that together. That's sealed. Um, you can put this up. Uh, quite a substantial time frame of storage. I forgot, actually, just how long these will store. Um, but anyway, I, rotate your seeds. It's just good to rotate your seeds. Believe me, that's coming from a farmer. All right. So if you got the basic box this month, you most certainly got your money's worth. Um, that come to a total of fifty nine seventy three, and you paid twenty five dollars. All right. Moving on to the advanced box, we have my Patriot Supply seventy two hour meal kit. All right, here you go. This is another item from my Patriot Supply. And right here it has Granny's Homestyle Potato Soup, four of the Traveler Stew, four Blue Ribbon Creamy Chicken creamy chicken Rice, and four of Liberty Bell Potato Cheddar Soup. Um, right here it says these will stay good for 25 years. And, uh, man, that's, that's awesome. That can feed quite a few people right there on the fly. Look at that, guys. Very rare do we see that, but you always see that in Battle Box. And, and that's one reason I will always be glad to promote these guys is they support American industry. If you don't support your own country, get the flip out. All right, so anyway, right there, 
there you go. That in itself is a $19.95 value. All right, now next we have a short-term uh, prep and plan DVD by Plantio. All right, here we go. This is prep and plan. Uh, oh, there's a one-month subscription inside, looks like. Um, let's see if I see. Oh, Dave Canterbury's in there. Uh, I'm trying to look and see if I know any other of these guys. Yeah, right there. He's had some good content in the past. Um, that ought to be... That ought to be a good watch. Um, knowledge is power, people. It's something that nobody can ever take from you. All right, so that brought the advanced box up to 104.67. All right, now we move on to the Pro. We've got the Ready Man Camp Stove. Now that says exclusive first release. So I'm interested about this. I've not seen that. What do we got here? We got the Ready Man Pocket Survival Stove. Oh, that's awesome compact stove uh, plus utensils plus tools I'll check it out it's got uh, the pop outs but it's it's a little mini rocket stove let's take a look see if this check that out we'll get that going here in a minute um, that is a thirty four dollar and ninety five cent value now, the other little metal fold-up stoves and stuff like this I've seen, I don't know what the material that's made out of yet, and I'll figure it out here, but I've seen them upwards of like 60 bucks, so I know that that's not exaggerated. That's actually a heck of a good deal. Um, and then we've got a stainless steel compact portable grill, um, which I imagine... Okay, we've got the way this works, I imagine. Yeah, is it's going to go, the grates are going to go across. I um, guess we'll, we'll roast out with that here in a little bit. Um, I'll figure out how to assemble that here in a minute and demonstrate that to you guys too. Um, stainless steel. Yeah, there's, there's quite a bit of process that goes in that, so I'll figure that out here in a minute as well and give you a demo of that. Um, also, some couple of things here I was looking at. We've got, uh, oh, there's some offers in there from my Patriot Supply. Man, that you always get extra kicks and perks out of that. Um, something I also found in here that is not on the list, but it was in the box, which is really awesome. So it's like an extra, extra freebie. And I just want to make sure and read down this. We'll read it together to make sure that I didn't miss anything um, up to this point. But we've got InstaFire charcoal starter, simply light the pouch. Um, that's awesome. That's an extra freebie in the box. Um, it's not even on the list. So there's extra bang for your buck. And moving on, we've got the Pro Plus Knife of the Month Club, the 2015 Klecker Abiqua Hunter. And that's a $129 value. Um, I'm not familiar with that knife, so now I can't comment on that. But overall, the total value of the box, I think that's the highest I've seen it to date, is $298.61. And right here is the knife. Give you a look at the grips. Oh, yeah, love the thumb slide. Got a Kydex sheath. Very tight, too, man. That thing's not going to come out on you. Going to. Whew, my, my. Look at that. Look at that. Did you see that? Look, you can shave with it. That is the freaking sharpest knife I've ever got out of Battle Box. Dude, that, that's insane. I mean, let me, let me show you right there. Wooly Man. Okay. And I just shaved with it. There's a flat spot that's completely shaved. Wow. Uh, needless to say, that is extremely high quality. Now, the blade on it, um, let me get this in the light good where I can see the blade, what it says here on it. The model number on that is DK151GB. 
Okay, right there, David Kurt design. That's that's awesome. Um, the feel on that is just absolutely amazing. Love the feel on that. It's probably one of the best knives I've ever held in my life, and I ain't just saying that. It's great. Um, the only other knife I've felt that has exactly that kind of depth feel to it is by ESEE. Um, tactical knife. I've done a review on the past. Matter of fact, you can check a link right there, but man, it's in the same ballpark right there. Just really nice quality. So guys, that's that pretty much wraps up the box. I mean, epic score on gear this month, and I mean, if you paid in, uh, I think you definitely got dividends back out from your investment right there. Okay, guys, now I know it is really dark out here right now, um, but what we've got is that charcoal starter pouch that I found in the battle box that was not on the list. Um, and I'm going to light that pouch. I've got the packing material that was in there. Now here's this grill that we've got. And um, I'm going to fix the, uh, I've decided I'm going to do the chicken with gravy and dress and potatoes. Um, I'm going to put the water on the bowl here in a minute, but we're just going to get this fired up at the moment. Right here is with a pretty good stack of just some... Uh, uh, sticks and stuff I cut up to get this going now the grill in relation to how tall that thing is I mean you're about seven eight inches up off the ground uh, so anyway let's get this uh, started here I'm gonna pass my light off to my wife there and get this pouch up and under here build some wood up on it Okay guys, so I've set my pot on top of the grill and um, it, it leaves a really good space where that you can build up, uh, you know, a little fire and everything. Um, it's not really restricted. A lot of these little stoves that fold out and stuff, I mean, there's a lot of restriction to it, but you can actually build a considerable decent fire underneath that and everything. So um, we're going to bring this water to a bowl. According to this, uh, I think what I'm going to do is step back inside after I get this going good, but... Um, Looks like it, we're gonna have to put this in there, uh, seal and let it set for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we put the breadcrumbs over it. Um, and then at that point, you're ready to have a meal. So I'm gonna bring this the rest of the way to bowl, and I'll show you here in just a minute once we get to that point um, how well it works on this grill. But um, quite impressed with uh, with how this thing's working so far. So a couple, a couple things right here. Um, I've got the pot boiling definitely boiling water we're ready to uh, get going with that but I just wanted to show the space gap there there's a really good space gap um, for using this stove it's actually one of the best stoves I've seen um, for backpacking on the go and man the space saving function of it just blows me away um, so anyway now let's take this inside pour it in our meal and uh, give that a go All right, guys, so I made it inside. Um, my bowl is pretty much going away, but right there, pouring this in. Try not to barbecue myself. Nick, is that two cups? No. Keep going? Mm hmm What do you think about right there? Uh, I'll do a little bit more. Just say when. All right, that's good. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to a cooking professional here. Uh, I'm terrible about figuring out what's the amount to put in on that. All right, so there we go. That's uh, that's the start of the process right there. Um, lay that over here onto our range. All right, now at this point right here, it says... Seal the bag. Seal the bag and 20 give it 20, 15, 20 minutes. All right, so... Alright guys, so I'm going to give that time frame and then we'll come back and we'll put these on it and we'll go from there. Here we go. Got, gosh, 
gosh, that is just so hot. You know, there's sometimes you boil water just a little too hot. Ain't bad. It's not really bad, though. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not the Ritz Carlton, but it's not bad. That's chicken with gravy, dressing, and potato. Now, that's enough for two people. Actually, I gotta be honest with you, that's probably enough for three people if you're on to go hiking. But not bad at all. So, guys, out of all things that could be in that box, what did we get? Survival food. Perfect timing for this winter. You know, every time winter comes around, there's two things that people forget to do in advance, and that's get winter preps for as far as cold weather gear goes and firewood and all those things so you don't freeze to death. And the second thing is food and water and things like that available so that if the utilities and all the other things and store ain't available, you've got that. Perfect timing. You know, make sure it gets your gear together now because winter is coming. Who knows? Maybe an easy winter, maybe a really rough winter. But thanks to BattleBox, if you're a subscriber, you've definitely got some food on the shelf and you got some seeds laid back for when the spring comes. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that review. Make sure to check them out. Make sure to be a subscriber because the Motoped's getting given away. Make sure to check the link in the video description below for the coupon code if you're a subscriber to the channel. It's right there in the bottom where you can easily access it. And as always, until we see you again here at 7 Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.